today we're taking a look at the YouTuber Wilbur Suits Band Lovejoy because you guys have been commenting about it all the time. So let's do it. Okay, so they have two EPs out. One came out seven months ago and one came out two months ago. Let's start out with One Day uh, Retro. Wilbur really likes the retro aesthetic, it seems like. There he is, the boy. <laughs> and you expect kind of like him to see a girl when he drops the cigarette or whatever like that. <laughs> and then it was a bus. I was like, oh, he's really attracted to this bus. Awesome. <laughs> What's happening? When does the music start? Nice. Is that real horns? Could be. Stop. Why do you have to my ah, cat? What? Why do I have to take you back? Time and time I play the empire. It's such a good indie vibe. Close you like a deer in headlight. One day I know that you will be there. One day I'll focus on the. He's so good at lyrics, I think. Just a bunch of lines I've never heard before. <laughs> And you know, some of them are like toilet seat left up and some of them are like, why'd you have to my cat? But overall, it's just really interesting. So king in consistent. One day, I know that you will be there. One day, I'll focus on the future. Maybe one day, oh baby, is in life. So king in consistent. This is super fun. Reminds me of a lot of bands from when I was a kid back in the 90s, early 2000s. Okay, they're two singers. The energy of this is crazy. Lots of swearing though. Can't believe this. How could you? <laughs> Energy is crazy. It actually reminds me a lot of Swedish bands like Håkan Hellström. Always had crazy energy like this. So what I really like about it is that it's really not recorded to click or anything, or it might be, but it's not like super tight or anything like that, but just the energy, the rushing feeling of it is super interesting and super fun. Probably awesome to see live and jump around. By the way, welcome back to another video. My name is Joel from Roomy Official, and we make videos about music and stuff here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Not everyone is subscribed. It's, I'm cr crying every night. Please subscribe. <laughs> one day I know that you will be there. One day I'll focus on the future. Maybe one day, oh baby, it's in life so king in consistent okay that's really cool i want to have a look at what the lyrics are about one day is a hope-filled song that talks about improving the future despite hardships faced in the past it specifically focuses on the singer's relationship with his lover mentioned throughout the song and him wanting to take her back despite her not being a good life partner wilbur told his fans in a stream where he teased it that he personally believes it's the least impressive song on the release stating that he doesn't dislike it <laughs> man he seems super hard on himself i really like like this. Let's move on to the next one. Who got Taunt? That's uh, George is not found, right? Another person from the Dream SMP group. So, is the thing that they're supposed to try to taunt him? I think he's one of the like heart throbs of the whole dream SMP things. I'm sure a lot of girls are just looking into his eyes throughout this whole music video. As an introvert, I'm feeling a little bit put on the spot. I'm gonna try to look at the other stuff. Remember when that day is new? Oh, did anybody ever say no to you? <laughs> Is the whole video gonna be like this? That's interesting. All their other stuff is so cinematic. Figure out what makes you bring it. I'm a listener. I'm a listener. Hey! It changed there for a second. I like this. Similar chaotic energy. <laughs> the driver really like his double kick. Comes out of the blue every time it happens. The horns are super fun. Are there real horns? I think it might be real horns. They sound really good. Yes, you always do that one thing. Cause when you throw and trash me under your drink, I'm trying to figure out what that means. I took it as a tone. I really like this one as well, but honestly, I think uh, the last one was a little bit more my vibe. Let's have a look at the lyrics of that as well. On Taunt, the band reminisces over a past lover and how their relationship unfolded, sang over a classic rock beat. 
Accompanied by electric guitars and trumpets, the singer emphasizes the insecurities and pretty privileged that veiled their lover's perspective. Very cool. Here we have Model Buzzes. Came out two months ago. So this is part of the new release, Pebble Brain. Got some ocean. Everything seems really upbeat on this album. Like fast tempos. Oh, I like that. <laughs> this is a bit more sentimental in its instrumentation. Some major sevens and stuff in the guitars. <laughs> oh, so they took the green screen out like that in public. That's smart. I'm sure that your heart's in the right place. I'm sure that you break more than I make. It's like a very stylized kind of off-pitch singing here. I think it's definitely on purpose, but it's one of those acquired tastes, I think, that might not apply to everyone. Now the chorus is way more like straight on, like on key. It's got the bus, it's got the <laughs> That's funny. I like that a lot. That's great. <laughs> the retro step again. I don't think those bubbles were real, guys. They had real bubbles before. Now maybe they were real. Yeah, this is really cool. Super indie pop vibes. This is all in Brighton, I think. So I used to live kind of in this neighborhood. <laughs> this is super fun to watch. I like this edit. That was sick. I really like that. There's a lot of chords happening in the chorus, actually. So they're kind of going back to more chords compared to a lot of pop music nowadays as well. So you get B minor, you're just scared. D, F sharp minor, E with G, E. Model Buses is the second track on Lovejoy's second EP, Pedal Brain. The title Model Buses might be a reference to an interview with Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of England, where he had said that in his free time he likes to make model buses. This interview has been viewed by the lead singer of Lovejoy, Wilbur Suit, on a previous stream where he explained that he thinks Boris had to think of a hobby on the spot and seems a bit confused on how he makes his own model buses. <laughs> well, I like to paint, um, or I make things. I like to... What do you make? I make... <laughs> He's so angry, I have a thing man. where I make He's models so of... I mean, when I was in like, where well, like, we build... I make... <laughs> what that nah, yeah, yeah, Wilbur's right. This is totally a lie. Is he trying to be relatable? <laughs> so that might have been the inspiration then. Here we have concrete. Again, super energetic drumming. I like this editing. He's definitely got a great visual eye, Wilbur, if he's behind it. I want to check that, actually. Nah, it's edited by Ash Kabusu. I'm sure Wilbur had feedback on it. I like that they have the lyrics in the bottom all the time. Oh, I like that. They really like major seventh chords. So basically major seventh chord, if you don't know, is like, so then E flat major. So for example, it would be like. That would be an E flat major seventh, right? It just gives this really sentimental feel to things. I love kind of the upbeat vibe with the sentimental parts as well. Happy sentimental music. <laughs> Because this could easily be a ballad if you kind of have the tempo and everything, maybe just had piano and singing, but they kind of take these sentimental ballad type things and they make them super energetic, which I love. Don't march up to bus stop station with dark eyes closed with early conversations and the consequence of your desperation is the people on the night bus have to listen to you. So I talk a lot about singing on this channel and this is a perfect example of like, you don't have to sing the highest or anything to make vocals, to make vocal recordings. They just sound really good and work really well with the music. I think they have a perfect sweet spot here where his voice sounds great on these both choruses and verses. It's just an aesthetic. And I think that more people should look for a good aesthetic with their music instead of looking for making their music as complicated as possible. This chorus is a banger.
The horns do so much. It's super fun. <laughs> they actually smashed that? Okay. That was great. I really like that. It's funny because I could never make a cover of music like this because it would be like too clean. I need other types of songwriting to make my stuff interesting while they're doing exactly the right thing to make their music interesting, which I really love. Here we have their latest music video. It's called, It's All Futile, It's All Pointless. <laughs> Sounds like my life. Let's go. Again, just interesting visuals. I lost the passion that comes with living. I took a geography course to learn the date lines and maybe use a sextant. <laughs> sextant? I don't think anyone uses those anymore. Cause you wanna watch TV and sleep all day and lay in bed, but you're forgetting the time. Got to go to work and eat my food. <laughs> You're forgetting that I gotta eat my food. <laughs> Maybe use a sextant. I don't miss you. Lyrics are so good. Oh, fun chord. This is, the pop where I shot up and let you this is the poppiest thing I've heard from them. Something interesting with modern pop music compared to band music like what this is, is that the sound between different pop songs can vary so greatly because you're always like, ooh, this little synth sound here and whatever. I'm going to switch out the whole drum kit for every song. While with something like this, it's way more uniform, but I kind of like it because it means that you focus more on the songs and the differences between the songs more than the differences in sounds. But it's definitely something that I'm noticing listening to a number of songs that it does sound similar just sonically. You'd rather he was inside than beside you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Good line. He's talking marriage and a future. This girl seems unserious. I don't miss you. I the All the fun in 90s chord progressions are here. I love that. I love that chord before the chorus. That's super fun. You're like, what is happening? And then it just works really well. Yeah. So basically, it's a tritone from the tonic, right? So they're in the subdominance, and then they're like... <laughs> it's just really fun. The one genre that used that chord more than anything was grunge. The whole grunge era with Nirvana and all that stuff. They would go to that chord a lot. So hearing it as something that's kind of more slick, this is probably Lovejoy's slickest song, is very exciting and interesting, I think. The word choice is great. There's so much lyrics, too. It would be harder to memorize as a fan, but once you do it, you're like... I personally really like when there's a lot of lyrics. But as a pop songwriter, a lot of the time, I will have to make things more simple. <laughs> if you would turn this off now and be like, Joel, sing this song, I'd be like, oh, Sextant. Uh, dynamics are great. What a climax. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I stand by the Wilbur suit and his band Lovejoy and all of that. They're some of the most interesting YouTube musicians on the platform right now. I know he's mainly known for his gaming stuff and the SMP stuff and all that thing, but honestly, he can stand by his own as a musician. I think this is really great. He's a great, great musician. There's a lot of people who are more known for their music than he is that make worse music on YouTube. So Wilbur and the whole of Lovejoy, well done. I will see you guys in the next video. Click here for more music commentary. Click here for something else. <laughs> and I'll see you then. Bye.